Throughout the year, we only get one call from our dad asking for help, and that is to put up his Christmas lights. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna help him do that, maintaining my spot as the number one kid, but we're also going to put up Christmas lights for the last time, and that's thanks to the Eufy Permanent Christmas Lights. Today, we're gonna get them set up, installed, show you how they work. Let's get started. So here we have the Eufy Permanent Outdoor Lights E120. Now this has dual LED with AI, which is endless possibilities. Now this is the 100 feet model. You can also get this in 50 feet or 30 meters or 15 meters. So here we have dual LED warm white and RGB, AI light generation, light effects customization, easy DIY installation, and durable and long lasting. So that's gonna be the real test. Not gonna be able to show that too much in today's video, but how long will these actually stay on the home? We'll be able to do all this on the Eufy Life app available on the Google Play Store as well as the Apple App Store. Now one thing I really like is with the dual LED, it gives much more warm LED lights than some standard bright white LED lights. And then here it delivers three times the brightness with blended RGB white light, making them an elegant accent lighting, perfect for stylish daily lighting. So my parents will be able to use these throughout the year, not just during the holidays. And here we have non-repeating light design with AI. So instead of having the same standard lighting effect every single night, it will be able to automatically adjust based on the mood or other AI effects and lighting effects and DIY installation. I'll just be able to pretty easily install these. I had some professional installation in my house, but I'm excited to be able to try and do this all without screws, cable clips, and so much more. So let's see what's inside. We have the different lengths of LED lights. So here you can see there's different strands. We're just going to attach them together like this. And here is the different LED puck lights. So the main thing about this is you're gonna have this sticking under your soffits. I think it's gonna look pretty clean. So here we have the 3M adhesive strip that we'll place. So I'm gonna probably clean under that. So that comes with six different lines there. Now we have about 80 feet we're going to be doing today. I'm gonna see if I can find how to use all 100 feet. And so here we have a positioning card to help us put them at the same distance um, behind the soffit there. Here we have some extra adhesive if we need that. And here we have some different clips that we can screw in to really attach these into the home. Here we have some wiring. It's about 10 to 12 feet to help you kind of move the cables from one section to another. And here we have the power adapter. So there we have a few feet and then it attaches to here, which is most likely the smarts of all of this. So it has the computer and everything inside as well as the Wi-Fi and all of that. And then it has a length where you'll be able to attach this um, to the end. Now, before we install them, we're going to get them plugged into the app and set up, make sure that all the lights are working. So the first thing you need to do is connect all of your lights together and then get them plugged in. If for whatever reason they don't turn on, unplug it and then 30 seconds later, plug it back in. And then we're gonna go through the app and get it set up. It's pretty simple. You just connect it to Wi-Fi, give it a name and so on. Then we're going through a firmware update right now. Okay, we have it all updated and it's giving us a few notes on getting it installed. Before you start the installation, you need to know you will need a ladder and make sure it is stable enough or use it with help of another person. Take the spare adhesive stickers and the included clips and screw with you Bring a cloth or alcohol wipes to clean your eaves. Do not install on rainy or hot days to avoid falling due to extreme temperatures or slippy ladder, and the light strings cannot be cut. So the length of the strings, you can't adjust that. Um, what they come with is kind of how it is. You have to figure out how to kind of route the cables so they're hidden or out of the way. Now we need to determine the location of the first light string selection. Make sure that the power adapter is close enough to the plug in the control unit is accessible enough to operate. So the first thing to consider is where you have power. So here we have some outlets at the front of the home. When they built the house, they did have an outlet put up here for Christmas lights. So here we're going to clean that out. And then I'm gonna see if I can get the wire to go all the way down to the end here so I can start at one end of the home. Starting at the outlet, we're going to plug it in. And then here, I'm just gonna mount the power adapter and kind of feed in the cables. And then from the end of the control panel, I'm going to take the cable, that's what I'm holding here, and there's about 10 feet, and I'm gonna route it into this gutter. And right here, I'm actually going to attach the little extension cable. So that added about 10 more feet, and that perfectly gets us to the end of the gutter. Perfect. So here we have the power cable routing it under there, I'm trying to hide the cables best I can. Now here, the power adapter and the control panel are sitting outside. 
It's recommended they go inside, but um, this is a pretty dry location. I don't think we're gonna have a problem with them right there. So let's go ahead and start cleaning under here and getting the lights installed. Each LED is covered with a piece of plastic, so make sure you have a helper nearby to help take that off so you don't forget when you put up the lights. Should we see if they work? No. So here, this is going to come around just like so. Now I'm going to check to make sure the light will fit where I want it to go. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of alcohol on a rag, wipe off that area, wait a bit for it to dry, then peel off the 3M adhesive and hold down for five to 10 seconds. Moving to the next light, I need to make sure that the cable goes over the gutter here. And then I'm going to make sure that it's not twisted at all. Then repeat the cleaning process and sticking it and moving on to the next light. Now for a full permanent install, this is where you're going to add the clip and then screw it into the metal soffit here. And you will want to add these every two lights and maybe around corners and other spaces. This will help it so that if the adhesive fails, it will keep the lights up. I'm now going to continue repeating this process for the rest of the strand of lights. I'm then going to add another strand which adds 10 more lights and 16 feet to continue on. Now, sometimes they don't line up. Now I was able to kind of just put one at the end. I like having one at the end of the line and then I was able to kind of hide the cable in there. So maybe if I left a little more slack between each of these, I could have done a better job at hiding some of that cable. Um, I guess you could try that out. But then here, I don't want to have any exposed hanging wires. So I didn't want to take a wire from here and go all the way up to there. So what I ended up doing is put a light right there and then I can hide those cables a little bit better and then moved it over there, moved it to there, had it go across and then it was ready for the next section. Now to get everything to line up perfectly, that's a lot of planning, but to be quick, we're just gonna keep going through. Here I have some extra wire, so I'm just gonna have to, again, hide it into the bottom of the soffit here. And here it is time for the next strand of lights. Now for each set, I just need to remove the Velcro. Here I take off this little paper tag. And then here you have a cap for the end that I'm going to cut off. You will only need that for the very last strand. So I'm just gonna remove it on this one. And again here, I'm gonna go over the downspout, plug it in and carry on. The length between each LED is 18 inches, but when you do add another section, it expands it to 22 inches. Now I probably could hide that expansion so I could make them perfectly 18 inches between every LED, but the connector here is pretty big so that is hard to hide underneath the soffit. So we're just gonna let it be. And in the end, it actually wasn't noticeable when there was the difference between the 18 or 22 inches. Now next we have this corner. I do like to align the lights at the very edge of the corner. So I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do that here. Here I just stuck the wire underneath the metal and I did my best to get it as close to the corner as I can. And now for the hardest part where I can't reach with my ladder. So I'm gonna get on the roof and place all of these on blindly. Hopefully they all look lined up and then making sure I'm just pulling tight with each light that I put on. And now at the very end, lining up pretty perfect. I do have one more strand I could use, but this is going to be where we finish it off. And then I'm gonna make sure that I use the end cap to cap it off to keep it watertight. Now I just need to figure out how I'm going to kind of hide the end here. And the best place to do it was just to kind of stick it under the gutter. Now I'm gonna head back to the beginning, use some of the extra adhesive to mount the power adapter so it's not going to be falling down. And then here at the beginning, I had some loose wire that I was just going to clean up. Let's take a look at the full install. There we have the power cable going over here to the power adapter. From the control box all the way over here, we're using the extension cable in the gutter. That's about 20 feet, I'd say. And then it goes here where our first light is. Then our lights are run across here. So then it goes over here. I had it go up and around. So then you can see it going through here. And then right here was a perfect spot for one of those connectors. Um, so in this 100 foot set, there are six different lengths. So that makes it 16 feet per length of light, but then there are 10 lights per different section. So total, it's going to be about 60 light bulbs. So there you go. Another section going around this corner. Looks pretty good. So then I went all the way up. I had to make sure that the cable right there at the center wasn't drooping down. I may need to go and put a clip or two up there and then going all the way down here until we ended and I ended up only using five sections. And then here I tried on some of the spots to put the cable underneath the little soffit end there, but sometimes I just let it hang. So we'll see how that looks 
over time. So overall, the install was pretty simple. Long term, we'll see how this does hold up. Now, right now, I did not install the screws or the clips. That is when you wanna have a more permanent solution. I decided let's go ahead and see how long it's going to last with just the sticky tape. We are in the sun over here, so we'll see how long that's actually going to hold up. But now I think we're ready to turn off the sun and turn on the lights and see what they look like. All right, it's now nighttime. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights. Oh boy, that looks pretty good. I'm pretty amazed at how well it lights up the house. Um, right now it's sitting at 50% brightness. Let's drop it down to as low as it can go. There you can see they're barely on. This is about 25%, 50%, 75%, and there we have 100% brightness. Looks pretty amazing. Now, at first I was a bit concerned about the spacing of the lights, that it wouldn't be quite as much as we're used to, but this actually looks really, really good. All right, I'm gonna turn it off again and turn it on. So here we're gonna tap on the outdoor lights, and the first thing that you're greeted with here in the app is the magic show. So down here, it's giving some hot creative inspiration. So here we could do spooky Halloween night. Let's see what it comes up for that. So here it's created a scene where it's just doing these different customizations. There it went through orange, now it's gonna go through purple. So I didn't have to do anything for that, that was all automatic. Let's go ahead and do autumn leaves in breeze. So again, it's gonna do something else, just kind of based on whatever I clicked on here. If we go over here to description, this is where the AI comes in and I can actually type in whatever I want. So let's go ahead and say birthday celebration. So here when I hit generate, it's automatically going to create a scene based on that. You can see here we have some fun different rainbow colors. It's going through a different pattern. It's even showing that on the app, which is cool. And then we have the option to save that. So I can just click the save and then I can name that. So here we have option to choose magic dice, which is automatically going to create a scene um, just with kind of whatever. And then here we have a light show mode on or off. So right now the light show is on. Um, I can click that again and it will go off. So let's go ahead and try out some other patterns that we have. And let's drop down the brightness just a little bit. So now let's go under the ambience. So these are just different holiday scenes that we have. So here we have a New Year's Day. So it's kind of just slowly getting brighter and brighter. And all of these scenes, I have the option to click the edit button there and I can change the speed. So here I can increase how fast that is able to work. I could save it if I like that speed better. Here we have Mardi Gras. Here we have Valentine's Day. Now, most of these scenes are automated, so this is kind of going through a pink and white. And if I click edit and I turn off the speed, then it's not going to animate anymore. Uh, my dad was actually liking how they looked when they're not animated. So if you wanna use one of the scenes here, you can just go through and turn that off. Here we have Washington's birthday. A lot of days of the year that this would be great for. That just looks so good. April Fool's Day. Those are some pretty fun colors. Oh look, they flicker. That's, that's really cool. Here we have St. Patrick's Day. And I really like how in the app it's showing what is going to show up on the actual house. Easter. These are really nice presets. Here we have Mother's Day. Just a nice soft glow. Father's Day, it's pink or blue. Here we have Flag Day. And there one that's a little static. I could go in and increase the speed on that. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> okay, a little too much. Okay, so it's just kind of going back and forth. Or I can just turn off if we like that solid color there. Independence Day. Labor Day. Halloween, it's kind of cool. Here we have Thanksgiving Day. And then here we have Christmas Day. And then here we have a Hanukkah. So then we have seasons. So if you just want to have a seasonal color, here we have a early spring just rotating through different colors there. We have spring, early summer. 
I like the ones where it chases across the home. Those look really cool. And you can see when it gets to one end, it automatically starts back over at the other end. Here we have summer. Here we have early autumn. Well, those are nice. Here we have early winter. And then here we have a winter scene. So just a nice pink, bluish, white glow. And then here we have different events. So they already have one here called celebrating. So it's very similar. Actually, these are much more bright and vibrant than the one that I chose with the AI. So this one looks really cool. It looks like a birthday cake, different colors like right there. Pretty sweet. So those are the different ambient options. Next, let's go to daily. So maybe you just want some daily lighting. Here we have a warm white. So one thing I really love about these is how it is able to light up the entire home. Again, if I turn this off, you can see I can't see the home at all. Turn it on. Now I can see all of the part above the garage. I can see around the windows here. The only part that it doesn't really brighten up is back in the middle here where we have the lights pretty far away from the wall. And that's just because of the awning here, but it is brightening up all of the sidewalk. So it's much easier for anyone coming to the home. They'd be able to see the path a lot easier. So I'm really happy with how that looks. I think we're really happy with how these did turn out. So that's the warm white. It's so nice to see a warm white versus a really harsh white. So this one I think is gonna be used a lot. It looks really, really nice. Next we have the cool white. So a lot more bright white, kind of almost bluish. This would be like your 6,000 K on the Kelvin scale. And then here we have a pure white, which is a nice looking white. I'd say it has a tiny bit of a pinkish glow to it just because of the house and everything. But uh, I'm really liking how this warm white looks. It looks very natural. And then here we have customized, so we can actually go through and create our own custom color. So my dad was out here already playing with these. He created an orange and purple. So this is a nice orange and purple color that looks really good. So I can actually go through and edit that and you can see how he chose all these different colors so that they flow together. So let's go and create a new one. So one of the ones that he wants is a blue and white one. So is what we can do is choose our color here. So we're gonna choose the blue that we want and then we can just tap on the color and you'll see it's showing that one bulb that is on. And so we could adjust the blue if we want to change that blue at all. Maybe I want it to be a little more light blue. And then I can go through and choose all the different ones that I want. So here, when you go to the next level, that's where you gotta, you gotta follow the path of the line. All right, so that is our first color. Now we're going to go and choose our second color. So now we got a white, and we just click on the other ones. Okay, so now we have our blue and white. You know what, I think that blue is a little too light, so I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna choose a new darker blue. Okay, that looks pretty great. I really like that blue and white color. Um, and on, one thing I'm noticing on the camera, it does look like you don't see the blue and white as much, but uh, at the LEDs, you see them really nice. And then down, you don't see as much blue and white. It's kind of molding together on some of the face of the house above the garage. It looks really cool there. So then we have different patterns that we can choose. So here we have dynamic. We could choose the flow where it is moving and I can adjust the speed down here at the bottom. So if I just want it to go a little slower, so then I have it go slower or really fast. Okay, we're gonna slow that down. Here we have flow two. When you only do two colors, it's kind of hard to see exactly what's happening. So I might have to try this again. Here we have stream light. Okay, so it's going in and out between the colors. Here we have twinkle. So it's just flashing them on and off. And here we have breathe. So it's kind of pulsing the colors on and off. And I can make that go slower. I can make it go faster kind of cool. So really nice. I would like to see a little more dynamic options there from other lights that I've used at my house. I have a bit more control, but I think this is a pretty good set uh, for these lights. They are pretty good. So we're going to call this one blue and white. There you go. It shows up as a favorite. Let's go ahead 
and erase every other one. So here you can see that made a little bit more accent lighting on the home instead of having so many bright lights you can have a little bit more accent. But anyway, so you can customize this to exactly where you would want lights and not want lights and make it a really fun accent. And then I can even like add more right over here over the porch or certain things. So I can really customize what that looks like. All kinds of cool customization you can do there. Now down here at the bottom, we have the schedule. Now by default, it's already set up a bunch of different schedules. So here it's gonna choose the warm white every night from 1800 hours to six in the morning. So that's a little long. I don't want these running all night long. So I can come in here and instead of 1800, I can do sunset and then I can have it go off at a little more reasonable time. And then here I could have it turn off at 10 p.m. or whatever. And it's actually gonna use my location to find out where I am. So now it has that scheduled and here it's showing what lighting effect it's going to do. So right now we are in Halloween, so I'm going to go and choose my customized settings, and I'm gonna choose the orange and purple and select save. So now that lighting effect has been saved for every day at that time. Now so what's really cool is down here, if we scroll through, so here where you can see it has holiday schedule for all the different holidays of the year. So we can do New Year's Day, we can do Mardi Gras, and it's automatically gonna turn those on. On February 14th, it's gonna do the Valentine's Day. So my dad didn't have to do anything, it's just automatically going to choose those uh, different scheduled effects. And so if you do have an effect, I'm not sure if it's going to override that, but you would just need to come in here, turn that effect off, and then it will do the other lighting effect, or you can just go in and change it for that day. Now here, Halloween, it's gonna change. So I'm gonna go into Halloween, and I'm gonna choose to the customized lighting effect, and hit save, and then I'm also going to change the time. And there you can see it adjusted the Halloween, and if I didn't want one of these to turn on, again, I can go through and turn it off. Really cool, you have all that with LifeSync, then you can go through and customize and you can add your own schedule. So you could go through and create different lighting schedules. So let's say we just have evening lights. You can have it run daily, like every day of the week, or you could have specific dates. So you could have um, a certain time of the year. So we could have October, let's just do until the end of October. So there we can save that. And then you can have the time this is going to run Again, I like sunset to about 10.30. And then we can schedule the different effect that we're going to have. So sure, we can just choose Halloween. Now, as what I could do is I could only have it do a certain 30 minutes or so, and then I could go through and create another schedule. So there, once I uh, select save, it knew, hey, that's the schedule you want. So you can go through and create multiple schedules a day. So every 30 minutes, it's actually changing the lighting effect, which is really neat. So that's the schedule. Here, if we go into the settings, there's not much. It's just showing that we have 25 meters of length. Here under general, we can give our lights a name. We have Wi-Fi connection mounting guide so if you need to see the mounting guide again and there you have about device now last here we have lumino link and as what this can do is it can link with other eufy security cameras and if somebody comes to your home it can automatically turn on the lights so let's go ahead and add a scene so now we can create a arrival scene so let's say arrive and here we have an if command so you can choose if a certain date, a daily routine, if a specific date, so you have the range there. Here we're going to choose Tuesday, because that's what it is right now. And you could choose a time. We're gonna choose from one to six. And here we can choose the driveway camera, because I already have the Eufy Cam 3 set up. And then we're gonna choose the lighting style. So let's go ahead and choose the daily warm white. And then how long do we want this to turn on? Let's just go ahead and say for one minute. Confirm, all right, let's go ahead and save that. So now we have the scene when someone arrives during that time, it's then going to go to our preset. Let's test it out. So let's say you arrive home and then the camera detects you. This did take a few seconds here for me. Um, I thought it wasn't going to work, but as soon as I decided to try to walk through again, the lights change. So there you go, was pretty quick to respond 
and pretty happy with that result. And the lights turned off after a minute and they are now back to their scheduled lights. So here you can see with the lights off, there's just a little bit of light here, but once I turn on the lights, it really brightens up the entire front of the home. We have the sidewalk here that brightened up, the garage, the driveway, um, everything pretty much, but back there under the awning, it didn't brighten up much, but very impressed with how well and how bright these are able to work. You can see over here that it is able to brighten up all the front of the home just with those few LEDs up there. So when it said these have the dual LED, this is true. It is very, very bright, which looks really great in person very bright and vibrant. And so that is what the Eufy E120 permanent outdoor lighting can do for your home. I'm actually really impressed with what these are able to do. Hopefully over time we'll see some improvements in maybe some of the different effects that you can use and being able to customize some really cool effects. Now overall the install process was pretty quick, pretty simple. It did take me around three hours to get everything figured out exactly how I wanted it to run and fully installed. Now I didn't put the clips and the screws in. I just kind of wanted to test it out, make sure everything was working great before I ended up doing that. But I think I will go back. So far, the uh, adhesive on the 3M strip should work pretty great for a long time. Now, for the install, it would have been great if there were two different um, blank strips added. I used the one strip that came with it to be able to get this started in the right location. But if I had a second level and wanted to move these up higher, it would have been nice if I had another one of those. So it would be great to have those. You may just need to end up getting two kits if you wanna have a second level so that you could add more there. And maybe you just need to get the 50 foot kit instead of a whole nother 100 foot kit. Once they were installed, um, getting the app uh, working was very simple to use. Everything worked great on that. It was really easy to go in and customize different colors. I did notice that it was hard to find that warm white. I don't know how to customize the warm white, so maybe I just need to figure that out or maybe another menu needs to be added. Um, but I really love all the presets that are in there. I like how I can customize what was already available and kind of change the speed. Now I mentioned during the install that some of the spacing was a little bit weird, so it would be cool if that was able to be worked out or maybe there was flatter pieces. But actually, we don't really notice these during the day. Looking up at the soffit, you could notice if you were looking for them, but overall, I think it is a really clean look and it costs way less than the permanent lights that I had installed at my home. So if you have any further questions about these, please let me know down in the comments below. If you'd like to pick some up, I'll leave a link down in the description. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.